Hey everybody, how's it going? When I first got started on my journey with YouTube, I had a, I did a lot of like really silly comical videos that doesn't really reflect who I am now. I'm a kinder person, I'm a nicer person, I really love people more, but it has a lot to do with the fact that I love myself so much. I have like this radical, insane love for myself now as an entrepreneur and as a person that's totally confident in who I am and in my relationships and my family. So when I go back and look at it and I see how broken and sad that I was, I was just like, wow. I wanted to fit in so bad with someone. I just wanted people to like me so much. And now, to connect with you all, and I don't care if someone likes me or not anymore. I love myself so much that I know that I'm gonna find my people. I don't have to try to get people to like me. I just know that I'm gonna make friends and I don't need to want anyone to want me. I want me, and I'm gonna find a lot of really other kick-ass people that want them. That is one of the most beautiful things. Going back, I watched all those videos with Jaden, and I'm not gonna lie to you. We were new parents, we were new to knowing what we were doing, and I looked back and I had him in the wrong car seat, and I was like, Ugh. The things that I didn't know then, how much I've grown. Go back and watch those today, and to know what kind of person that I used to be on social media, I used to just want attention. I just wanted people to like me. I wanted to connect with the wrong people. It wasn't about having people around me that love me. It was around being around people that pretended to like me. So I want to make some really important points today that might really resonate with you. If you were only spending time with people because you want them to like you, or you feel like nobody's gonna like you, you're with the wrong people. Especially as an entrepreneur, you wanna be around people that are where you want to be and people that love you unconditionally. So if people don't support you on your journey, they are not for you. Like they're not your people. I've had so many people compliment me on different things that I do in my marketing strategies and it always makes me feel really, really good and I appreciate it because I'm really humble about it and I think it's, I think all the time I'm always, I'm always thinking of ways I can improve. I'm always thinking of things that I can do better and I always learn something from another person. So I don't really look at myself in those ways, but when other people mention something like, oh, I really like how you do that. It means a lot to me. So I like to compliment other people when I see it necessary, but I realized some of the people that I really wanted to support me never supported me. And you know what? It's okay because I am me. I'm me and that's okay. And if someone doesn't support me or my journey or my growth, I have attracted a lot of people that do and that feels really, really good. So I want you to have that radical self-love to where it does not matter who in your life doesn't support you. Five more people will. You can attract your people. Spend time around people that are where you want to be, that believe in themselves, that love themselves with all their hearts. And then in four years, when you look back on your old videos and you'll be like, wow, I can't even believe that my mindset was in that place because I deserve so much better. And you're going to just be like, wow, that's so much growth. You will look back on those videos in three months and think that like, wow, six months, a year, the more and more you grow, the more you're going to think, wow, that growth is amazing. It's okay to love yourself so much and it's okay to grow. And it's okay to not care what people think about you about who you used to be. I used to be totally different than I am now. Very different. If you guys have known me, if you've grown with me, you can be like, wow, sometimes it's hard for me to even believe this. But I did come a really long way. I'm proud of myself if no one else is. I have so much love for me. And I want you to love you too. Be nice to yourself. Go easy on yourself. Don't be mean to yourself if you didn't do your hair and your makeup. I had a video where I was like, telling people, you know, if you go out in public, you need to make sure that you have your makeup on because you don't want to go out looking all crazy. And now I would never, I would never think that ever in a million years, ever. Like girl, do what you want. If it makes you happy, do it. You are beautiful. And I mean that on such a deep, deep level. But before I was like, yeah, in order to look good, you have to wear makeup. And now I'm just like, you know what? I'm great the way I am. I don't have to do anything extra and neither do you. We are perfectly and wonderfully made. We should love ourselves just as we are and just try to be healthy, try to make our minds healthy, 
trying to make our souls happy and everything will fall in place. So what is the biggest way that you've grown over the last few years? Have you had any big moments like, oh my gosh, I am so different now. Do you have moments like that? Have you had any? Because our growth will always be limitless. We'll always look back on these very moments and we'll be like, wow, how did I, I have grown so much from even there. So in a year, I'm just gonna be like, wow, I'm happier and happier every second. I am more and more blessed. Abundance flows freely to me and I feel good about my life. So I really hope that you guys all feel like that. If you don't, you deserve to. That is why I like connecting with people. That is why I like to be around people. I think good, positive things. I have a lot of love to spread to others. And today I'm just so grateful and I have so much gratitude for the journey and for the lessons that we learned on the way. Today has been a big wow. I cut a nagging chainsaw and found out that I'm loved more than I thought. Hard work pays off. You know what, Lauren? You are loved so much and you should release anything that tries to hold you back, always. If something tries to hold you back or doesn't make you happy or isn't for your greatest good, it will, every obstacle will show up on the path until you shred that baggage, until you get rid of it. When your life isn't going in the right path, smooth things happen for you on the journey. All the energy flows freely and everything is great and beautiful. So I love that, that makes me really happy and that also means that you're living your truth and that you're growing in the best ways. That's why I'm glad to be your friend. I don't wanna have anybody around me who doesn't try to go for the very best in themselves. So I love you and I will talk to you later. I need to tell y'all something. Long time ago, Jan told me stories in the car when we got to Grandpa's. I need to tell you them. Okay, what was the story? Long time ago, there's a big sponge in a pool with a man growing garden plants. And the man was got water and there was no and there was no water in his thing so he got plants. Oh my goodness, so what happened to the plants? He couldn't water them. A yellow thing was in there drinking all of the water so we can water the plants again. Is that all? Nope. It's still warm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am intrigued. There is more water in there. It, it was a big, little, teeny, tiny sponge. <gasps> Oh my goodness. It wasn't me. If the sponge was friendly,